It's Isabel from CNN. I've just launched a new newsletter on how to get 10x returns on your crypto investments. Just click on the link. That sounds like my voice. I mean, that's unbelievable. Yeah, that was within a few minutes. Deepfake technology is getting faster, cheaper, and more realistic. Line in Louisville, Kentucky. It killed two in public figures that are so real, even they can't tell the difference. Making it easier than ever to create scams or spread misinformation. I was using just websites so that had like a window would let me upload your video that I wanted to clone, upload the audio that I had created, and it would just mash those together. It used to take a lot of time. Now it's really mere curiosity and a little bit of persistence. AI companies have created deepfake detectors, but this cybersecurity expert says they have serious limitations. Anyone that promises that one click type of answer is wrong. I can upload things that I know are deep fakes because I made them and they'll say that they're likely authentic. Maybe their hearts are in the right place, but I think that it has the very real potential of creating a false sense of security. As a test, Carpenter ran my deep fake video through a detector that used several different models. One of them said it was 56% suspicious. All the other ones, though, said no deep fake detector. They're saying that it's in the green, no deep fake detected, and then one that's 56% suspicious. What does that even mean? Then we tried a different detector, this time using only my AI generated voice. Yeah, probability 98% that it was generated. So I caught it. Yep, so it caught it, which is exactly what you would hope for. And then I'm gonna add all the sound effects and everything else that's gonna contribute to the story. These sounds are like the interior car sounds. So here's one of them. And you get probability 5.3. Same audio clip that was 100% AI generated, but you added some ambiance to it and now it fooled it and it thinks it's real. I think somebody that's not thinking about this with nuance would go, oh, it's probably real. Yeah, and that took no effort. Deep fakes are getting better and better, more <laughs> believable, and the tools that maybe I thought would help me figure it out uh, may not be so helpful. It's not necessarily as hopeless as it might appear on the face of it. There's security practices that have been around for decades, if not hundreds of, or thousands of years. If we have set up some kind of code word, I can ask you that. It's simple human things like that that we're going to be able to use until the technology catches up.